Hi guys, my name's Laura and I'm the Specky Seamstress. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Deer and Doe Melilo shirt, which I am currently wearing one version of. I have made three other versions and have two more versions uh, nearly ready, nearly fully sewn. So clearly I'm going to be telling you good things about it on the basis of that. Uh, we all know I love a pattern repeat when I like a pattern. So there's going to be quite a few versions, I think, of this in my wardrobe. Now, I've never been much of a shirt wearer, um, work or casual. I found it really hard to get um, shirts that fit me well, but with one exception, which is when I was a teenager, um, it's kind of like from, I reckon, 18 up until 21, 22, I wore denim shirts done up to just kind of under the bust with a vest top or a t-shirt underneath. Um, all the time with a little jersey tube skirt and big Doc Martin boots and bright glasses that was kind of a go-to look for me and it has been something that I've wanted to recreate since I started sewing for myself and also kind of explore the world of shirts and try and get a shirt that fit me well as a larger chested woman getting a nice fit on a shirt in a ready-to-wear shop has been really hard and because I have never really had to be super smart for the office, um, I guess I sort of have avoided that a little bit. Um, so yeah, I haven't, I haven't, haven't worn shirts that much, other than these denim shirts that I really, really wanted to recreate. And I have tried a couple of shirts in the past, and I've tried a couple of shirt dresses as well, and I've never had huge amounts of success. And then I kind of thought well maybe I'll try a slightly more casual style shirt and that will work better and I have um I own the closet case Carly shirt and the Melody Dolman by Love Notions um and I've also tried the Rosa shirt and I tried hacking the Stacy jean jacket from um Style Arc into a shirt as well neither of those kind of gave the the look I was going for I couldn't get the fit right on the rosa at all so I thought when I saw the Melilo I know I'll try another shirt and surely that will be a success and somehow it was <laughs> sometimes these things are, are, are good and are lucky um I looked at a lot of versions so one of the things I do when I when I find a new pattern that I'm interested in is I just scroll all of the versions that I can on the Instagram hashtag and uh versions on like sewing pattern review and something I've been doing quite a lot recently is going to the curvy sewing collective group on Facebook and searching the post for the pattern because it is quite nice to be able to see curvier ladies in these makes in one place um scrolling Instagram for for the hashtag can be a bit difficult at times so that's really nice to be able to do just realize my collar is doing all sorts here talking to you about shirts in a unfurled unfurled unfolded twisted collar not ideal so yeah I've been doing that and, and I kind of had a look and I thought the Melilo might have some success um it has a bus start the holy grail um it's really uh, like not a lot of dolman styles have bus starts and I understand that they're supposed to be a bit looser fitting but I still need some shape I think to get the fit that I'm looking for so I decided to buy it now the the deer and doe size range you can buy a paper pattern up to like a size Europe 44 I think um and then the bigger sizes up to size 52 are pdf only so I bought the pdf I made the largest size <laughs> I made this up and was really surprised at the fit out of the packet actually. So I must have known it was going to be a success because I made it straight away in this dinosaur cotton from the Eternal Maker and I just made it up thinking yeah this, this is gonna work and um, didn't make a proper kind of dirty toile out of out of rubbish fabric and it did. The reason I'm only holding the collar <laughs> 
is because I it's in my unpicking pile because I need to unpick it because there were a couple of adjustments that I needed to make and um, nothing too major but I am not a particularly hippie person I have quite narrow hips and I need to remove some width from the hip and also some length all round it was really long the the melo I mean I've taken like a good two inches off the front and then it's a it has a like a high low hem and I took like four inches <laughs> off the back because I wanted it to be level um and I also need to take a little bit of uh length like a dart wedge out of the back because there was quite a lot of pooling at the back um of fabric so there were a couple of changes that I want to make so I'm gonna unpick it and fix that <laughs> and then yeah change that because I did I took more off the hip at the front than I did at the back so I'm not just gonna whiz down the side seams I am gonna take the time to unpick it because I do want it to be in my wardrobe for a long time because who doesn't need like a khaki dinosaur shirt in their life <laughs> so the melano comes with a couple of options you can make a granddad collar um, which is not what I'm wearing or you can make a full collar uh, you can make long sleeve or short sleeve with a cuff or um, a long sleeve with a sleeve placket so the first one I made up properly <laughs> after my um, dinosaur attempt uh, was for Wattle and Slate which I have spoken I think about here so Wattle and Slate are a new UK custom fabric group and I'm a strike sewist for them and I made up in this uh, really lovely bright coloured tile print fabric uh, which is just like a riot of colour and I thought it would be a really really lovely little shirt Um, I made it from like 85 centimetres of fabric it was a bit nuts really Um, that isn't particularly standard it was 150 wide I did have to make the collar from a plain white and so the same with the cuff but I just managed to squeeze it on to, to 85 centimetres, which is, yeah, pretty good going, actually. I um I wouldn't have been able to do that without the changes I'd made on the dinosaur one. So the length and width and the hip were definitely important in that um, scenario. <laughs> but yeah, I love it. I um couldn't believe how much I loved it, actually. I have just never had that much success with proper shirts. So I felt really... Uh, really excited to have a little kind of casual shirt that I could roam around in and I kept that onto short sleeve because of fabric requirements obviously and I had been reading a, a blog about how dolman sleeves often come with a cuff that is just a straight rectangle and then they stick out a little bit because this the shape of the sleeve is not a straight rectangle it certainly isn't in the um in the in the melolo and the long sleeve has a really nice shape to to the sleeve head so it's kind of really flat um so it does have that kind of sleeve cap but it's very flat and i read that someone had used that sleeve head to make uh, a cuff so just to take kind of the first couple of inches of that shape um for the sleeve and i did that and oh it's so much better than a rectangle i'm just going to be doing that on all all sleeves that require some kind of cuff because it means that it just sits a lot nicer and um, hopefully you can see that over the few short sleeve versions that i've made as i'll kind of post post them post pictures of them here and yeah just so much better so I was very grateful for that and definitely good advice i will link the blog post down below so that you can check it out um and then I just wanted to make more basically <laughs> I was just very excited and I thought with the success of making the fairy tiles print shirt with so little fabric I would pull out some one meter pieces in my stash and see how much luck I would have with a kind of narrower one meter piece so the next one that I cut was this panda fabric which is a Lady McElroy print I got it from Minerva Crafts as part of my um, sewing patterns and prints prize voucher that I got last year and it's amazing I'm so happy with it I actually have noticed that Minerva have this print in a stretch twill and I'm really really tempted to buy it to make myself a pair of trousers but 
I'm unsure if panda trousers are really what I need in my life, but they might be. <laughs> so I made this up out of a meter, just like, just I had to piece the cuffs together in order to, to do this. It's a short sleeve and um, yeah, the Lady McElroy cotton lawn is what, 135 wide. So I still think that's pretty good going to be able to get a short sleeve shirt out of a meter, but like in the largest size of a pattern. But um, yeah, you won't be able to do it for any narrower <laughs> than that. I mean, it really was some good pattern Tetris going on. Um, so the shirt comes with like a grown on placket. So the shirt, the button placket down the front is grown on and um, you just iron it iron it in um on itself so there's no you could probably attach a separate placket if you wanted to um you'd have to press it really well to kind of avoid that seam showing um but yeah that's not too bad um and what i've also done is the length that i'm cutting it at i use a bias binding for the hem the hem is very curvy and it does tell you to just roll it up twice and and stitch normal hem but that's pretty tricky on a really curvy hem and bias binding is the solution for me so that's what I've done I did manage to get a full collar out of the panda fabric as well and um, which I was very excited by I really like this little collar it's a very rounded collar and I don't think I would like it done up I think it's a bit too I don't know it almost looks like a Peter Pan collar but I really like it open and I always wear my shirts open at the top so that's kind of not a problem and um, I think that if you are running quite short on fabric having a contrast button uh, collar stand here is really cute and you could also add a contrast on the back of the collar if you're going to wear it open anyway Um so you've got a little bit of opportunity if you're kind of short of fabric <laughs> uh, which I always am like I never have the right amount of fabric that you're supposed to have for a pattern Um but yeah so I made up this panda one I absolutely love it like it's definitely going to get worn to work it's just a really yeah lovely design um fabric and works really well in a shirt I think and a cotton lawn shirt kind of feels quite crisp and and smart although I'm not sure pandas are particularly smart but you know what I mean <laughs> um so then I kind of got excited as I do and I cut out just like a bunch <laughs> bunch more basically and I made a refashion Melilo from an absolute giant top that I've had in my wardrobe for a long time and it moved about a year ago from my wardrobe into my like pile of clothes that I don't really want but I like the fabric so I want to save it in some way and it was a big polyester um paint drip dolman sleeve sack <laughs> <laughs> from ASOS which I've had for yeah for a really long time but I absolutely loved and I was desperate to make something from it and I thought the Melilo might just squeeze in now I couldn't get the whole shirt from um from the original top because of the the length basically it had a v-neck if it had had a, if it had a boat neck or a round neck pff, would have been fine v-neck kind of scuppered my plans a little bit but I added a plain white viscose yoke at the back and I think it looks really good I'm really really pleased with it and um, the the cuff with the paint drips kind of ties it all together really well and yeah I'm just really really happy with it and then I started cutting some more precious fabric so I have a mostly sewn um double gauze atelier brunette fabric which I just need to hem and cuff then I also cut out this now this is a spotty very lightweight denim kind of chambray from Felicity Fabrics and I bought this when they were the in a haystack discount code and um yeah I bought it to make a pair of shorts or dungarees but when it arrived it just reminded me of those shirts that I used to wear when I was kind of in my late teens early 20s and at the time I didn't have a shirt <laughs> pattern that I liked so I just kind of got excited about having a shirt again without any actual plans <laughs> and I finally um convinced myself that I was happy enough with the Melilo having already made three versions to cut this out and make it up and I'm just so happy with it I, I went long sleeves now the placket instructions on the Melilo for the long sleeves not fantastic 
but there are some good tutorials out there and also if you're on instagram emma at the zipper foot has um a little mini video tutorial saved in her story highlights that you can go and check out which is what i did when i was making mine but i do have the long sleeve placket i think it looks pretty good but most of the time it will be hidden because <laughs> i'll have just worn it all rolled up um now this i made out of a meter and a half and i do have a little bit left over I think that's all I have to say other than the fact that I'm going to be making lots more of these <laughs> definitely kind of fancy just a plain white crisp cotton lawn shirt I'm almost tempted to buy a Liberty sort of solid Tana lawn and make myself a shirt but we shall see anyway thank you so much for watching guys and until next time bye